Hey there, this is Kritesh and welcome to TradeBrain's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to read the income statement and cash flow statement of a company. But first of all, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. We publish new interesting trading and investing videos every week. Now in the last video, we discussed about how you can read the balance sheet of a company. So before starting this video, I will highly recommend you to watch that video so that you get an idea of balance sheet and continue the part two in this video. So here let's start with income statement. Income statement is also called as profit and loss statement of a company and it basically tells how much revenue or sales the company has generated, how much was the total expenses in that period of time and overall how much profit that the company has made. For example, if a company has made a total revenue of 100 crore by selling its product and services, its total expenses in terms of paying its employees, in terms of its plants, production, advertisements, etc. cost around 90 crore, then the final profit for the company will be 100 minus 90 that is equal to 10 crore. And here obviously the company also has to pay taxes to the government. Similarly, you can also read the income statement of a company and it follows the same principle. The formula for income statement is revenue minus expenses will give you the profit. So now let's look at the income statement of Maruti Suzuki. So here you can see in the first line it tells you the revenue from operations. And here you can see that for the annual year 2019 they have generated a total revenue of 860,685 million in rupees. And compared to the last year where they generated 820,411 so basically their revenue from the operations has increased a little this year further you can also see the other income how much money the company has generated from other income which is not their main operation and if you add the revenue from operations and other income it will give you the total income for the company in the next line you can see the expenses so the different expenses for Maoti Suzuki are cost of materials consumed, purchases of stock and trade, change in inventories, excise duty, employee benefits expenses, etc. And when you add all these expenses, it will give you the total expenses for the company. And obviously you can see that compared to the last year, the expenses has increased for this year for Maoti Suzuki. And finally, when you reduce the expenses from the total income, it will give you the total profit of the company before tax. Now, a company always has, a, has to pay tax to the government. However, the tax slab may change. So sometimes it's more useful to see profit before tax for, while looking at the income statement when the tax slab or tax corporate tax for the companies has changed compared to the last year. And finally, after reducing all the taxes, it will give you the total profit of the company. So obviously you can see that the profit for the year 2019 has declined. Now if you want to investigate further about how the company is generating revenues, for example if you want to see how much it costs exactly for raw materials or how much the company is paying as wages or salaries to their employees, then you can go to the notes section. So for every point or every matrices you can find a note section and if you go to those notes you can find more about these revenue and expenses. So let's go to note number 23 and find out how exactly Maruti Suzuki makes their revenue. So we'll go to the note number 23. So here is note 23 where you can see the revenue from operations. And here you can see there are two revenue. The first is sale of product and second is other operating revenues. So by selling their vehicles, they generate 747715 million rupee. And further they also generate revenue by selling spare parts, dyes and molds components, which is a very minor part of their revenue. Further you can also see their other operating revenues. So these all constitutes the main revenue from operations for Maruti Suzuki. Further, if you want to see the other income for the company, you can go to the other income part and here you can see how much the company is generating from other incomes like bank deposit, income tax refund, receivable from dealers, advance to vendors, dividend income, etc. So this is how you can see how exactly the company is generating revenue and what are the different revenue streams for the company. Further, if you want to read more about the expenses, you can see read the other notes. For example, if you want to find out how much they pay for salaries to their employee, you can go to note number 26 and here you can compare the salaries and wages for 2019 compared to 2018. 
In short, you can find all the details about the revenue and expenses that is how much the company is making money and how much it is spending. It can be a fixed cost or it can be a variable cost in the income statement of a company. So this is how you read the income statement. Let's now move forward to the cash flow statement. So basically cash flow statements tell you the total inflow and outflow in a company because of different activities like operating activities, investing activities or financial activity. Every cash flow statement is divided into three part. The first is cash flow from operating activity. The second is cash flow from investing activity and the third is cash flow from financing activities. The first one that is cash from operating activities tells you the total cash inflow and cash outflows by the revenue generating activities of the company. For example, sale or purchase of raw materials, goods, labor cost, building, inventory, shipping of products, etc. So here in the cash flow from the operating activities for Mahuti Suzuki, you can see how much the total profit before tax the company has and here you can see the working capital changes in that same segment you can find how much was increase or decrease in inventories trade receivables current assets current liabilities financial assets etc so by looking at the cash from operating activities you can see how whether the cash inflow is increasing or decreasing and as a thumb rule cash from operating activities should increase over time for a company which is a good sign further please note that there is no negative sign in the income statement or final financial statements of a company in financial sheets most of the companies do not use negative and instead of that they use a bracket to show a negative sign so this was the first one cash from operating activities the second is cash from investing activities so cash from investing activities shows the cash inflow and outflow involving the investments that the company made in a specific time period and it can consist of purchase of new plant property equipment improvements capital expenditure cash involved in purchasing other businesses etc so here you can see how much the cash flow is increasing in term of new property plant and equipment for the mauti suzuki or the payments for intangible assets sale of pp purchases of investment in associate company and overall for all the investing activities related to the company in that financial year Finally, if we move to the cash from financial activities, it shows the total inflows and outflows from investors such as banks or shareholders by getting loans, offering new shares, etc. For example, a company can get cash inside it by taking a new loan or offering new shares and similarly there can be an outflow by offering dividends to the shareholder. So if you want to look at how much dividend the company has paid in that year, then you can go to cash flow from financing activities and here you can see payment of dividend on equity shares so this is the third and final activity in the cash flow statement of a company the first was cash from operating activities second was cash from investing activities and third was cash from financial activities so that's all for this video i hope it was useful to you and you would have understood the concept of income statement and cash flow statement if you have any doubt you can comment below in the comment section i will be happy to help and if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button see you in the next video this is kritesh shining off